What's good, Facebook? I didn't think I was going to be saying that, but what is good, Facebook? It is your boy, Coltrane. I just said my YouTube intro. Uh, slash, you know, you know, you know the rest if you follow my Facebook. But welcome um, to this welcome video for Coltrane Productions, the Facebook, uh, you know, group thing I created and I was thinking about making a welcome video to welcome you welcome you ladies and gentlemen to Cold Train Productions and tell you all what it's all about, my plans for it, why do I have software in it. I was gonna tell you guys about what I what, what the plans for this little page that I created because everybody was, you know, was like, okay, they clicked on it, but it was like, what is this all about? All you see is YouTube things. Well that's one of the plans. But there's other, there's other things that is going to be involved in this um, Coltrane Productions page. First off, I'm going to tell you all about me. I am Coltrane. I go by the name Deshaun Train as well. On YouTube, uh, I have a YouTube following of 45 and 1,487 as of this recording. Might be 490 for 495 by the weekend uh, judging on how my numbers go we are nearing 1.5k on youtube i've been on youtube this is my fifth year going into my fifth year i hit year number four this year and i will be on youtube five years in 2021 i started youtube back in 2016 uh was when the first video was posted Around eighth grade year, I started YouTube, and now going into my senior year, I am still doing YouTube. Uh, YouTube has been a passion project of mine. I've been doing YouTube for years without telling any of my parents. Um, you know, for a long time, they did they, they, they didn't even know I did YouTube until they figured it out, and I just told them, you know, at, at, at one point. You know, because, you know... I always thought that I, YouTube was going to be my own thing I do. And I have built an audience strong of almost 2,000 subscribers. I am about five. I'm about 513 away from 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. I hit 1K last year. Great milestone. 1,000 uh, subscribers. I got a thousand, over 1,000 plus subscribers on um, Twitter. I have over 300 subscribers, uh, I mean, 300 followers on uh, Instagram, and over a thousand Facebook fans. That's a, that, that as a combined social media following, we could probably went up now. Well, as as of the last time I calculated, a four thousand one hundred and twenty six followers. If you factor in my following on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. And YouTube and both of my YouTube channels is a combination of 4,126 followers. So I had this idea of Cold Train Productions all the way back in 2016. Now, originally, it was going to be a little YouTube thing I did with a group of friends that I still have to this day. And we're still doing it. Uh, a YouTube thing where we create content and videos for my channel, and I and it benefits off of all of our channels, and we called it Cold Train Productions. Now, I thought about that, and I said that I'm going to make that into, and I'm I'm going to make that to do the YouTube thing, and would do it with a technological thing. So, about two years ago, I got into what this thing called computer science. Now, computer science is the theory of computers based on how a computer thinks, how a computer works, what goes into a computer, and how everything functions. There's different types of computer science. There's software development. There's information technology. There's the hardware and, and that goes into tech, and it goes into it. There's robotics. There's there's software engineering. There's a, there's a lot of things that go into computer science. I, my, the plan is, will be a computer science major when I go to college. That is my passion. I love computer science. 
Ever since I took that computer science class, shout out to my high school teacher. Ever since I took that computer science class, I have loved computer science for the last two years. And I and I have taken a CS level class or CS type of class the last two years of high school and we'll be taking two more CS level classes in intro to engineering. I'll be dual enrollment with a college taking introduction to engineering, which will give me the principles of computer science. So when I get to college, more than likely, I won't have to take an introductory class. I can go straight into learning, le- learning more, which means I can take more electives uh, throughout my college level to figure out, you know, because I already know what I, I already know what what part of computer science I'm going into, which I'll get into just a second. And I'm taking fundamentals of HTML, Java, and CSS, which is job, which is Java programming websites. So that's that's JavaScript and all that stuff with those types of programming languages. You know, if you're a technological person, you, you if you're not technological, you probably won't know what I'm talking about. But some people know what I'm talking about. JavaScript is used for used for websites. I already know how to program in Java, which Java developers make six figures. They make over a hundred thousand to one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year just for knowing how to program in one language. Imagine if you learn how to program in multiple languages. You can your your income can skyrocket. Computer science is the future. I don't care what anybody says. If you're in CS, you're part of the future. Eventually, there will be robots walking around teaching kids. I'm, I'm dead serious on that. Eventually, there will be robots that, that, that will do everything things for us. Eventually, there will be self-driving cars, self-riding airplanes with no pilots. Eventually, technology will get that advanced that... We won't have to do those everything day, everyday, everyday things that we do now. In the future, 10, 20, 30 years from now, you won't have to do that. It's the future. I am in a great major. I am in a major that is growing very quick. I'm in a major that pays very well. Now, I felt that I want to do something that is a passion of mine, and that can change the world. Computer science is a passion of mine, and it can change the world that I'm living in. By 2050, everything I just said might be a reality. We don't know that because technology evolves every year. You know what I'm saying? Technology evolves every year. Your, your iPhones be out of date the next year, you know? You, you know, your, your, your computers be out of date. You know, even... Even gaming consoles be out of date. You know, you know the, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series, that's for all my gamers, are going to be out of date by 2021, 2022. Because that's how fast computers adapt. That's how fast computers update. It's the future. So my plans is, with this future, is to own my own software company. I want to own my own business. Um... I thought about it and I was like, this is the future. This is something I want to put in. This is something I want to invest in. So this is my college plans. I will go to school to get a four-year degree in computer science. After I graduate, I will look to get my MBA, Master's of Business Administration, uh, in business so I can learn the ropes and, and, and learn, learn business from a technological standpoint. Because then eventually I will own my business. This will take a long time to do. I'm not saying it, I'm not saying it's going to take. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's going to happen overnight. But eventually, that's one thing I'm going to do. I might have to work for somebody. I might have to get an entry level job, build my way up into owning my own business. But eventually, I want to own my own and, and want to own my own business in the near future. So after I get my MBA. I will go back and get my master's degree in computer science. So I still have a long list, a long time in school. I got four years, and then I got to get the business degree. Then I got to get the, then, 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 then I'm getting the master's degree in computer science. So I will have a master's of science in computer science. After that, I will work a couple years, 
build up my salary, and eventually open up my own business. And what this business will be, hopefully by the time I get to that point, my YouTube fandom will climb and I hopefully will be over, you know, maybe 25, 30, 35,000 subscribers, hopefully by that point. And I will um, use my YouTube, you know, fame and, and use my passion for technology and open my own business. This will be a YouTube business and a computer business. It will be a combination of both. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know this sounds crazy, but hear me out. The YouTube part was I will make and distribute my own merchandise within the company. I'll make all my Coltrane shirts, like the Coltrane Road, which is really popular for some odd reason. The Coltrane Road is so popular on my channel. Coltrane, the production shirts, I'll make Coltrane uh, mugs. I'll make Coltrane cups. I will make Coltrane, you know, hats. All of that will be made by me and distributed by me. And I will sell my merch within my own company. I will also sell advertisements in my company. I will also get my spon- get sponsorships. You know, you use the YouTube side, you know, as I'm already monetized on one of my channels. Hopefully get monetized by on another channel. Use my YouTube sides to benefit me opportunities in the YouTube community that I am in. Because I will still have, uh, I will always have a passion for YouTube until, uh, until I can't do it no more. Until I physically can't commentate anymore or physically can't do a face-to-face video anymore, I will have a passion for YouTube. That won't stop. That will not stop. Coltrane, your YouTube channel's not going anywhere. It's not. It's not. I have plans to keep it going for years and years and years, even while I'm in college. I find ways to make videos throughout the week, I, you know, do while I'm in high school. My plans is, this, this, this is how I do it. School comes first. Everything gets done before school, the weekend I record. I record, and then the only, the only day I probably don't record on the weekends is unless something comes up. I go hang out with my my girlfriend or whatever or something. I got to go somewhere, but the only day I don't record, if I have a test on like a Monday or Tuesday, I shut down, shut everything down. I study for that test on a Sunday night. I, I, go, I go over my notes uh, for school for the past week. I look at everything. I look at what's coming up next. I, I look I look at my week or ahead, you know, because some 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 teachers plan weeks in ahead or some people give you a preview of what's going to be happening the next week. And I go from there. That strategy worked. And I only made two B's last school year. I made two B's. I aced almost almost all my classes I had. And I, and I had I had about eight of them. And I, I think I think I think I had eight. I, I aced almost all my classes I had except two of them. You know, the, the the two B's I had was in computer electronics one and uh, algebra two. That's it. That's it. Everything else was A's. I ate, I ate chemistry. I ate English. U.S. history was nothing. You know, because the strategy I used, it worked because you pretty I'm pretty much focused basically wholeheartedly on school. And then I get that time to have fun. I get that time. To spend time with friends, go do this and do that, while st- and do YouTube at the same time. So that's my strategy. I'm gonna have even while I'm in college, I'm gonna do the same thing. Shut everything down, do all my classes, you know, make videos on the weekends, you know, and then sit down and you know sit down and take that Sunday, go over everything that I learned for the week. If I don't understand it, I ask questions the next day. Um, you know, or whatever. If I don't understand something, I get extra practice on it or whatever. And that's the way I'm going to be successful throughout college and and beyond. So that's what I do. That's what I do. Um, and that's how I keep my grades the way they, the way they are. You know, I finally found the balance that works and was successful. And I'm so glad I tried that our junior year. And it was the best year academically, better, much better than sophomore year, which was, <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that one. Uh, and miles better than freshman year, man. And I, and I, I kind of wish I would have, I would have known about honors classes and AP classes you know, to really, really give me the buckle down. Uh, if I kind of wish I would have known about those classes 
freshman year, if I did, I think I would have been better off than I am today. That's just me. But that's pretty much my plans, man. It's uh, you know, it's, I'm gonna say a ten year. That's the next what I'm what, what I want to do for the next ten years. Go to school, be a computer scientist, major in that, and eventually own my own business. And this is where I will post my products at merchandise, software um, we make and produce. Because I will make my own software from scratch. I will get with software to dealers, and I'll make my own software from scratch. That's that's my plan. I will make it from scratch, you know, and, you know, and, and make money from it, you know, in all my own technology. But it's how everything's going to work. I'm going to figure it. I'm going to let y'all know and keep y'all updated as I get to this process. When is, when, when, when I'm going to get my business license, I don't know yet, but I'm going to work all that out while I'm in school, while I'm in college, get the experiences, get the, uh you know, the, um, we should call that the, I forgot what you call that, um, letters of recommend, get the recommendations and stuff like that, there you go, um, all that stuff like that, and talk to my computer science teacher, um, you know, that I have now in high school, and let, and talk to him about my plans, and, you know, and talk to the school, the colleges that I'm interested in to help me get where I want to eventually get at, and that is to own my own business, you know, you know, cause I, the, the dream of mine was working a great technology job and doing YouTube. That was a dream I had, you know, since sophomore year when I got into computer science. I was like, okay, if I can find a way to own my own business and still do YouTube at the same time, I think I, think, I, think I will enjoy life, you know. And that's the goals I have as of right now. You know, if I have to work for somebody for years, if I have to work for somebody five years, ten years, eventually I want to own my own. I want to own my own business in the near future. I don't care. I don't care if I own my own business at 40 years old. I don't care if I own my own business at 50 years old. I want to own my own business before it's all said and done. Ladies and gentlemen, but that is what Cold Train Production is all about. It is my journey to owning my own business and while calculating and um, doing um, my own, um, <laughs> calculating and doing um, my own YouTube journey as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this little short term video. Uh, this is not going on my YouTube channel, this is going exclusively on Facebook. So make sure you make sure you guys, if y'all are a fan, make sure you guys go check this video out. Give it a like, you know. Let, let me know. Let me know you watched it. Comment down below. And hey, hey, while you're here, if you haven't subscribed to Cold Train, go subscribe to Cold Train. You know, we're on the road to 1.5k. Maybe you could be those next 13 subscribers I need before we get to 1,500 subscribers. You know, get halfway to 2,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane when you think about it when everything that's going on with coronavirus you know and you know COVID-19 or whatever y'all call it then you know then all this crazy stuff in politics there's just so much going on it's absolutely insane that I'm still growing on YouTube and I, and I don't take it I don't take it for advantage at all I don't take it for disadvantage at all I'm so glad and if you enjoy this new lighting I know a lot of people are enjoying the new quality of the videos, you know, 4K. Yes, yes. It's you're looking like you're playing, look, looking like you're on, you like like you're on a you like playing a video game on 4K. You know, 4K resolution on this camera. So, yeah, man. Yeah, that's the plans I have, man. I am so excited, you know, for the future and what I have planned and what I want to accomplish in the next few years. Because eventually, I want to own. My own business. Because what they say is nothing like having your own. And that's, and, that's, and that's exactly what I want to do. Have my own business and create it to do YouTube and, and do technology and, and, and what, can, what, what, what I want to do with software development. But that's about it, man. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Oh, why am I making this like a... YouTube video, you know, if y'all enjoy the video, like, comment, subscribe, you know, 
I guess. If 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 you have a Twitter, you can follow me on Twitter and look at my on the things I post on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, I guess. Uh, Facebook people, you can follow me on Twitter at Cold Train Two Thousand Seventeen. Follow me on Instagram. You know, hey, 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 I got Instagram too. I don't, I don't post myself on there, but I post by my by my stuff, by by, by other stuff at Cold Train Two Thousand Eighteen. You can follow my Snapchat if you have one. You can add me on Snapchat at Cold Train Two Thousand Seventeen as well. Notice there's a pattern with that. Um, the fun fact: the Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat was created in 2017. That's why the username is Cold Train 2017. So I can always know when it was, whenever it was created. Instagram was created in 2018. You can follow me. You can you can like Cold Train Productions on Facebook and add me on Facebook if you are haven't already. The majority of you that have liked this um, liked this page already has me as a friend on Facebook. So you can do that. As well, if you if you're new and you haven't um, added me yet, add me on Facebook um, or like or like this page if you haven't already and you're one of my Facebook friends. Other than that, I will keep you guys updated as the process goes along. I'm ready for senior year. I'm ready to get this over with so we can get into the future and we can we can look at the bright side of everything. You know. I know math is going to be a huge, huge part of this major. It is, um, and I'm going to be, I'm going to be deep into math. Calculus one freshman year of college. Oh, oh, oh man, oh, oh man, oh man, it, it, it's going to be some. So, uh, but somebody posed the question: Is computer science hard? And I'm like, yes, it is. <laughs> it's really hard. If it wasn't hard, they wouldn't pay us the money, the money that they pay us, which should be more. But hey. As the years go on, it will increase. Um, they wouldn't they wouldn't pay us the money that, that, that they pay us, or the value of a degree or the value of learning it wouldn't be as big. Because you know there is not a lot of programmers running around. And programmers basically run through everything that you do. That TV that you're watching, the video that you're watching right now, this was programmed by somebody. This, all of this was programmed by somebody, 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 somebody programmed your phone, somebody programmed that app that you're watching right now, that that you're on right now, checking this video out, all this was programmed by somebody, and there is not a lot of coders in the world, so if you're, if you want, or if you're interested in everything I just explained, it is not too late to learn this, you can learn this online, just gotta, just gotta, just gotta pay a little bit of money, you can learn this online and get an associate's degree online in less than two years. And you, and you know with that, with that associate's degree, you can get hired and start salary, make about $50,000 a year. It's never too late to learn this stuff. Never too late. So make sure you guys, if you're interested in it, please do it. Because there's so much, so many opportunities, so many fields you can work on. I can, I can have a CS degree and walk into the plant and be the operator of something in that plant. Program something in that plant. Or be the operator of all the machines in that plant. It makes six figures. <laughs> would, I, would I do that? Probably not. I'm a, I'm, I'm a software hog. I'm not hardware. I, even though, even though I, lo- I love IT, but I, I, I ain't that big on IT. You know, the only, the only, thing, I do in, the only thing I do in IT is databases. Because I, oh my God. Ooh. My teacher got me into databases, and I love databases. And they make six figures. <laughs> they make six figures too. Database administrators make make almost as much as software developers. That's that's the real tea. See what I'm saying? And database databases are not that hard to learn. I learned how to how to make a database. I learned how to keep a database organized in less than a week. Go go to school for that. Learn 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 to keep thousands of databases organized. You can you, you, you can be making up to, uh, uh, you can be making up to a hundred thousand dollars. You know, just saying, man. Tech tech is the way to go. Tech is the future. Engineering is the future. You know, I'm telling you, the, the things you don't have to worry about in the next 10, 20 years is a tech job. You don't have to worry about that. That that's not going away. There will always be a need for programmers. There will always be a need for IT. That's, those two things are not going away. Because 
you need them in the smallest thing as a school to the biggest thing as Google. So, think about it. Think about it. But yeah, that's my plans. Welcome to Cold Train Productions. And I thank you all for watching this video. And I thank you all for liking this page. And I've been your host, yours truly. And I will see you guys in my next Cold Train Productions Facebook post. I'm out of here.